the first round jump of Daniel Jorgensen of Denmark. Jorgensen also competing here on the track as well. And that they're up near the six metre Ladies mark. This is in the T42 category. Jorgen's lifetime best of 6.53. That's nowhere near that mark. It is around the six metre mark. Talking to his coach there, you can see if you wonder what's happening. Daniel Jorgensen then moves into first place, five metres 87. He takes the lead in the men's long jump T42 final. This is Desmond Jackson of the United States. T42, F42, among the amputee categories. The boys in this class competing with a above, above knee amputation or through knee, like Scott Reardon of Australia. We saw in action last night. He's actually a through knee amputee after having his bottom half of his leg ripped off in a farming accident. To really use the board at all, the Desmond Jackson. 4 metres 70 puts him in fourth place. 506, lifetime best set this year, which would uh, put him into a good position. Heinrich Popov actually is the championship record holder from Christchurch 2011. And as we spoke about a number of times already this week, Heinrich unable to attend due to injury. And increase the competition even more so if you were. Mm -hmm. Share of the 100 metres crown two years ago. So here's Bernatas of Lithuania. I have to see how successful that was. I actually think, yes, that is a red flag. So the Lithuanian off to a, a negative start. Rigas Woods and Yamamoto of Japan also going over the plasticine so far. The Lithuanian athlete there obviously classed into the F42s. These are the standings after the opening round. Daniel Jorgensen leading for Denmark, 587. Schaefer second for Germany. Vassenberg third for Germany. I thought that Lithuanian athlete just needed a little bit of expl explanation after my my uh, quick wrap-up of their class. Obviously, like this athlete, the above-knee amputees is traditionally this class. But that Lithuanian athlete competing there with both legs, uh, he will have very, very, very restricted use of at least one of his knees. Shot of China with that remarkable approach. 4.22 in the opening round. 4.45 is lifetime best achieved this year. And obviously the speed that you would normally see not achievable with the one leg, but he's improved 4.28. So, Daniel Jorgensen, silver medalist in the T44. European Championship long jump last year, but he's a T42, and he's a leader in the opening round with 587, and that looks around the same mark from the day. 6.53 lifetime best set this year. Long way behind the board on that jump. He's got a lot of improvement just from hitting the board. So Jorgensen, 5.92, increases his lead by a further five centimetres. So back to the long jump. Leon Schaefer of Germany. 
His second jump, 5.36 with his first. He's in fourth position. In his T42 final. A little bit of distance behind the board there, so he's lost out of probably around 20 or so centimetres. That'll be something he'll be talking to his coach to try and work on the German. The Germans having quite the pedigree in this men's F42 long jump with, as we said before, Heinrich Popov, the championship record holder, but the world record holder, Wojtek, and I don't know any, how to pronounce his name, but it's... Wojtek Cic. There you go. And that's why we have well, Popov. professional guys like you around Tulsa. Popov, of course, not at this championship, third in... 2013, not competing on the track or the field in this one. That man there, Leon Schaefer, we're just waiting for his mark to be given. He's currently in fourth place, 5.36. A lifetime best of five metres and 50 centimetres. Season best of 5.47. Oh, just got on that one, okay. White flag goes up, so all the England's circle. Now we wait to see what she has done. Looking to extend her lead. Distance still well, to be ratified. Extra little bit of measurement needed. London in 2012. And we'll let you know how far he's thrown. Well, there we can see there can't be, there seems to be an issue with the uh, equipment. So as soon as we do have that for Leon Schaefer, we will give it to you. But of course, until they sort that issue out and give him his distance. It was a combined category at the Paralympic Games. Marcus Ray taking the gold. Germany immensely successful in this at 5.47. Keep so back to the long jump T42 final. Daniel Jorgensen with his third jump. He's in first place at the moment. 5.92 with his second. 5.87 his first. So he leads by two centimetres from Atsushi Yamamoto of Japan. Jorgensen doesn't get many opportunities to succeed because normally the T42s are put in with a T44 at international championship level. That's a red flag, by the way. He's aiming for a rare gold. Well, Yamamoto, the man I mentioned there, he was a gold medalist back in 2013. Popov, who's not here, was in third place. And Jorgensen, a foul there. So he stays in first place, courtesy of the second jump at 5.92. I'd like to think that Australia can claim some success here if uh, Yamamoto, Atsushi Yamamoto, was to claim a medal, seeing as he's spent some time in Australia training with my training partner, Scott Reardon. Ah, you'll claim anything, won't you? Rightio, Regis Woods, who's in third place with his third jump, 5.56, he has to beat. That's a red flag, so he won't be improving the American on his second round jump of 5.56. Two fouls so far, as you can see, no need to explain that one. He's way across the plasticine there, is Regus Wood, so stays in third place, 5.56. His best. Clearly a Mexican who is going to be competing in this next heat of the women's 100 metres. You can hear the singing in the background of our Mexican friend. And we'll have that in a moment or two's time. Paterchik with a new record in the women's 100 metres T12. 
and we'll bring you heat two in just a moment or two's time. Regis Woods there heading back in the long jump. He's currently in third position. So back to the long jump in second place at Sushi Yamamoto. Oh, 5.90 for his second effort. That there looks a little bit further. No problem there with the takeoff at all. The defending champion Yamamoto from Leon two years ago. When he's at home. When he's at home in Japan at Sushi, Yamamoto works for, I believe it's the Suzuki car company. And they're very supportive of his sporting exploits, allowing him a lot of time off work to be able to travel the world. Well, they may be even more supportive after that. They might even let him drive away in a new car. 6.18 metres. He's taken the lead. Atsushi Yamamoto is now in the front by 26 centimetres in the men's long jump T42 final. Well, for Assenberg of Germany. 4.95 with his first. Foul on his second. He's currently in fifth position. Well, that doesn't look to be a foul, so the white flag goes up in the background. 4.95 to beat for Vassenberg. Next best placed above him, Schaefer. So fifth place for Philip Vassenberg. Can he beat his earlier jump of 4.95? No, he can't is the answer. 4.80 for Vassenberg. He remains in fifth. So it is Zhu who was the fastest loser. Duron with a championship record. Maturchuk had done the championship record earlier. And Shibano in between with a European record. That should be some final. Could really be hitting the heights in the final. Now talking about heights, this man, Yoda Pedigay. The force is with him. But is it there enough? 464 with his first jump, a foul with his second. And that is a fair jump. A white flag for that one. Can he improve on 464? Yes, he can. Yoda strikes back. It's 494. And he's down <laughs> into sixth position. Well, Schaefer 547 in the second round. This was his third round attempt. 486. But how much longer would it have been had he been a lot closer to the board? Advice from Steffi Nereus. Field event legend in her own right. Regis Woods of the United States. Oh, 
Desmond Jackson. This is his latest go. At least he used the board. Down in seventh place at the moment, though, he and Riggers Woods in the top eight. Could have used the board a little bit better, but Jackson, solid try, started with a 470, then a 403. Well, next event on the track will be in around half an hour's time. The last event is 5,000 meters, T11 final. Uh, Desmond Jackson, 474. And that's seventh place for him at the moment, but he will have three more attempts. So I mean Dagus Benotus in ninth position, his third attempt, 456 is what he has to beat on a personal level. That's a red flag there. That is going absolutely nowhere. So he stays in third position, or ninth position, I should say, with his third jump being a foul for the Lithuanian in the men's long jump T42 final. Confirmation of what you already saw a moment or two ago for the Lithuanian. Yamamoto leading at present in the men's long jump T42 final, the defending champion. 6-1-8 for the man who took bronze in 2011. He was silver medalist at Beijing in 2008. He leads Daniel Jorgensen of Denmark, who's on 592. Regis Woods of the USA after three rounds is in third place at 556. And here comes the return of Yoda. Pedigay from Sri Lanka. His fourth attempt for the Sri Lankan. 494 he has to beat. That's beaten it. 513. That PB there at 513. It would appear that Yoda's been taking levitation tips off his good cousin. Well, Philip Vassenberg. What can he come up with next? The German, he was at the top of the leaderboard a short time ago. 495 with his first jump. A foul in his second. 480 for his third. This is fourth, and it's certainly a lot bigger because it's gone over the five metre mark. The question is, how much bigger? As he waits, well, there we go. 536 for the German. It takes him into fifth place. Leon Schaefer after his compatriot Vassenberg. Schaefer is in fourth position. 
As he chases down Regis Woods, who is on 5.56. Whether that is good enough to get him up into third position, it doesn't look as though it is. Well, 509 for Leon Schaefer. So he's in fourth position. Daniel Jorgensen, six metres and two is best to date. That was with his fourth jump. What can he do with number five? Away the Dane goes. Will he use the takeoff board? Looks as if he got right up there to the mark. But it doesn't look. He could do with a little bit more distance, in fact, getting up there onto the board. And that doesn't look as though it's going to be as big as the 6.02 he jumped in the fourth round. Atsushi Yamamoto, who leads with a best of 6.18 in his third round jump. Well, there's the answer, 5.83. Jorgensen of Denmark stays in second place. And here is our leader, Atsushi Yamamoto, the reigning world champion. Silver in Beijing 2008. Successful in the last three world championships and reaching the podium. Well, a foul from him in the uh, fourth round, foul in the first as well. 618 is best. This is fifth attempt. So here he comes, Yamamoto leading by 16 centimetres. Can he improve his advantage here now? He didn't really use the board at all. Took off from just behind, just before he was about to make impact. Nowhere near the board, really. Just the given away 30 centimetres or more. Slightly unbalanced landing as well. It was a good effort. 590 has been his shortest distance to date. A couple of fouls there too. But he is our leader. It's five meters 90 again. And into a headwind of minus 1.9. Um, All things being told, that could have been very, very long. Turned out not to be. So we now enter the final round, and for India, it's Ganada Singh. 4.68 is best so far. It's been good consistency in all of his attempts. Just 27 centimeters between worst and best. So Singh's best 7.68 and 8th place, the best for him. And we move on to Jasmine Jackson of the United States, who's lying in 7th place. Thank you very much for 
डाल दो इधर पीछे डाल दो डाल दो इसमें पहले उसको उठाओ अंदर के बाद सर टेस्ट में जैक्सन Jump Leon Shaver, his sixth attempt in fourth position, 547, his best for the German at the moment. Long way behind the board there, so that'll be a one flag. Well, he may be a long way behind the board, but he's also gone what looks like a little bit further than his last jump anyway. That is a long way, looking at about half a metre there, 50 centimetres. And that is a lot in the context of this competition. 5.47 is best in his second jump. But since then, he's failed to hit the heights. 4.99, so he is in fourth position and will go no more than that. The end of the long jump. Regis Woods battling for a medal. He's in third place. Four fouls already here. But can he pull off something even greater? Jorgensen and Yamamoto are two ahead of him. Here, here comes. Times up very well. Obviously, a little bit more for this. With the supports. What a great achievement, and having gone out that far in the first place, 5.56, you can obviously understand how there have been so many fouls so far. He hit the board well, didn't he? Hit the board fantastically. That has to be very, very difficult though, in terms of the stance, because we're not talking blades here, obviously. Well, here we are. With the long jump, Regis Woods with 4.59. So he in the bronze medal position. Jorgensen in the long jump. So this the moment, 6.29 for Yamamoto. Jorgensen needs to improve by 28 centimetres and it's 6.02 in round four in order to grab his first major championship goal. He's normally up against T44s in a different category. He's a T42, that's a foul. Jorgensen with the silver for Denmark. Rigas Woods with the bronze United States. Let's head back to the long jump though. So while we try and comprehend all of that, it's Atsushi Yamamoto who's 6.18. In his third attempt, ranks him at one. In second place, Daniel Jorgensen. But this man is going to be your gold medalist. How much further can he go, though? 6.18 to beat, and that looks big. It looks much better than 6.18. The record at the moment, held by Heinrich Popov of Germany, set in Christchurch back in 2011. That's 6.23 metres. Well, that is absolutely perfect. Yamamoto couldn't have done any better there with that jump. The glasses come off as he hits the ground. Well, he's happy with it. He knows it must be a lot bigger. Let's just see how big it is. 6.29, that's a new championship record, surpassing Heinrich, Pop Heinrich Popov's mark set four years ago in Christchurch. It beats it by six centimetres. Well, we've seen a rising sun or two here in our telecast, haven't we, for when the sun goes down and the moon comes up, there is the rising sun of Japan. So Yamamoto wins the long jump championship record 629. Jorgensen second 602. And Regis Woods with the bronze 556. Germany fourth and fifth through Schaefer and Vossenberg. Personal best for Yoda in sixth place. 
the master. <laughs>